Hi, Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions and today I want to show you the DC isolators that we used to use in the solar power industry. They are the uh, polarised DC isolators. If you have a look, we've got a positive here and a negative here. And it's a, a bit a bit weird because, a bit hard to understand really, because you've got positive on this side and negative on the other side. These, uh, these circuit breakers work that it goes, the power goes straight through. So you've got positive on one side, negative on the other. Well, which is it? How it's supposed to be done is you get the power from the solar panels and the positive from the solar panels needs to go into the positive of the circuit breaker. And the negative from the solar panels goes into the negative of the circuit breaker. And then the, uh, so the positive should go in here. And then out of there is still the positive, but it goes out the negative terminal because it's less positive than it is on that side. That all sounds a bit confusing. But today I want to show you what actually happens if you don't wire these correctly and there's a fault condition. So here what I've done, I've actually wired this in reverse polarity. We've, I've got a, uh, a DC isolator here uh, which is wired all correctly. Then we've got our positive coming into this circuit breaker. But you see I've gone into the negative terminal here and the negative from the solar panels goes into the positive. So this is actually wired reverse polarity at the moment. And what I've done is I've just run a, a, a wire across here to actually short circuit the, uh, the circuit breaker. So when I actually turn this on, it's going to have full current across it, full short circuit current from the solar panels. And when we turn it off, it's going to try and uh, disconnect that. But the thing with these isolators is they are polarized isolators and when they are wired in reverse, it's actually going to be uh, creating an environment where the arc can actually continue. And so it causes these to uh, have a major catastrophic failure. And so I want to show you now how that all works. So I'm just going to put it down on the ground here. Swift circuit breakers, when you see red inside the poles there, it always means it's on. We, we, we tend, uh, people tend to think of when they see red, they think of like stop lights. You know, think, okay, stop, it means, means there's, don't go, you know, there's, there's nothing happening. But with power, it means red means danger, red means on. And so if we just turn that back off, you see those poles in there, those indicators show green. Green is safe. Now we're just going to turn it on. And I'm just going to check the current going across the thing. So we can see there's 10 amps of DC current from the solar panels at the moment. So it's in good conditions and what we're going to do is attempt to turn this thing off. And let's see what happens. So it's on at the moment, we're turning it off. And now remember it's wired in reverse polarity. So instead of trying to extinguish the arc, it's, uh, it's going to have a failure. And you can see very quickly we have a major issue instead of extinguishing that dc arc inside the unit it's uh that arc is continuing to go and it's having a catastrophic failure of that circuit breaker as you can see there now that's not something you want on your home or your roof so i'm just going to turn that off now at the dc isolator and so obviously if you've got one of these dc circuit breakers installed on your roof or beside your solar inverter there is a potential that it is wired in reverse polarity because back in the day when these things were originally installed installers a lot of the time didn't know how to install them correctly there was a, a recaller about this this type of thing and uh, people who installed these circuit breakers had to confirm that they had wired them correctly and if they hadn't they had to go back and uh, and check them all now, I know ourselves, we've spent uh, tens of thousands of dollars going back to our previous jobs and actually checking these circuit breakers to make sure they are wired correctly. However, we have been to many jobs which other people have done. The installers are no longer around and we have at times seen these circuit breakers wired incorrectly like this. And look, when the system's all on and working fine, it's, it, there's no problems. But the problem is, if the thing is turned off under load, you're going to have a situation like this happen to your circuit breaker. That's why these days we use PV Ray DC isolators, which are not polarity sensitive. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful.